Hi, Grade Sevens. After spending the last two cycles talking about accidentals and key signatures, we're going to talk about a different kind of signature today. Today, we're going to talk about time signatures. Up until now, our time signatures have been 2 4 time and 4 4 time. Both of them have a 4 on the bottom, which means the quarter note is worth one count. And the number on the top indicates how many counts there are in a bar. In both of these cases, 2 4 and 4 4 time, there are even numbered counts inside a bar. So either 2 counts in a bar or 4 counts in a bar. Both of those, if you think about it, given that you have two feet, music in 2 4 time and 4 4 time is, is music that's built for walking or for marching because, you know, left foot on one, right foot on two, left foot on three, right foot on four. And each foot lands on the same count in each bar. Today, Instead of looking at an even number on the top, we're going to take a look at a couple of lines that have an odd number on the top. Specifically, we're going to look at 3-4 time. If 2-4 time and 4-4 time are for walking or marching, 3-4 time is for dancing. Let's take a look at the first four bars of line 62, which are in 3-4 time, where there are three quarter notes inside one bar. Bar 1 of 62 is three quarter notes, and then we have a bar line, then we have a half note tied to a quarter note, then another three quarter notes, and then we have a new looking note, a half note with a dot beside it. Let's start by taking a look at the counting in bar one and bar three because they're the easiest. First note's on one, second note's on two, third one's on three, then one, two, three, there as well. Now let's take a look at here in bar two. In bar two we have this half note. We know this half note's worth two counts, and it's tied to a quarter note, which is worth one count. So the combination of a half note tied to a quarter note is equal to three counts. Now let's take a look at this one. We know there have to be three counts in a bar. We know that there's only one note in this bar, and there are no rests. Therefore, this dotted half note is also worth three counts. So in this case, and in this case alone, the dot represents a one count note, or a quarter note. So we've got two three count notes, so we've got one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one. Now, if we take a look at line 63, we're still in 3-4 time, we're still in the E-flat concert. The only slight rhythmic catch with line 63 is that the piece doesn't start on count one. We have a pickup, so I'm just going to move this time signature over a little bit. And in line 63, instead of the piece starting on count one, it starts on the last count of the piece, which is taken from the last bar being half note. So it starts on three, which means I'm going to give you two counts before you play it. So it would be one, two, play. Hope this helps. Enjoy these bars, these lines in three, four times.